Well, thank you everyone for the opportunity to make some presentation this afternoon, some contribution to this gathering. Um, I'm pleased to say I know a number of people here. I've described myself on the opening slide here as an itinerant philosopher, but I'm described, I think, in the program as an independent economist. I've shifted my description, personal description, because I think it's a terrible admission to make that one once was an economist, given the dreadful mess that this thing called the economy has got itself into in the last five, six years, if not longer. So I like to think I am at least aspiring to be an itinerant philosopher. I've known the Netherlands now for many, many years, going back to the 1980s, and over the last several years, five or six or seven, I've had the opportunity to be there uh, for at least some part of each year. I have good friends there. I'm struck by the way the difficulties of living in the Netherlands have been tackled in terms of public transport, in terms of the housing, uh, development generally, and the sense of aesthetic, which so much seems to be part of the regeneration. So it's a great pleasure for me to share some of the experiences that I've had. And as Geraint has just said, it's important that I do this quickly, that I leave the image rather than the detail with you to reflect upon, and we may hopefully have time to come back and discuss it if that's the inclination. We can't talk about the Netherlands without talking about windmills, and I just thought I'd begin by showing that wonderful picture, 17th century um, seascape, uh, the mill at Wag by Duesteder, if that's my, got my um, Dutch pronunciation right, anybody who knows Dutch better than I do can forgive me, I hope, but just such a lovely way of beginning and just that sense of order and, and, and look, wonderful look, use of light, which I think is very much a feature of anyone will know has been in the Netherlands. So forgive me for that little indulgence there. I'm going to be talking about a project that I've visited several times at a place uh, called Cullenborg, a city called Cullenborg, which is there. Just to put a bit of a reference on it, there's Amsterdam, the place where most people seem to go if they go to the Netherlands. There's Rotterdam, where you often come into the port. And uh, if I can see it now, just a little way up there is Utrecht, one of the biggest cities. And actually, I didn't realize this until I was working on it, just slightly to the east of Cullenborg is the, is the site of where the mill is that uh, Jakob van Roosdale um, so ably portrayed uh, in, that, in that reproduction we've just seen. So Cullenborg then, that's where it is. Now these are some impressions. I've been there several times, I've taken these photographs of my own, um, there's lots more that could be done but I was put under a pretty severe interdict and sold, you've got 10 minutes and you better not go beyond it, so this is it. The first bit I think I like about it is that it's visually very, very attractive. It contrasts so much with some of the things which you showed us um, earlier on this afternoon. And it's just wonderful. There you see it. There's plant life. There's lovely pavements, the trees in the background there. It's just, you know, does the heart good, as James said. I must try and get everybody to sing. There's a bit more visually attractive, a nice use of colour. Again, trees in the background. Visually attractive again. Notice the kind of compactness of it all. I mean, that's necessary in a country in which high-density living is an imperative, given that it is the most densely populated uh, country in Europe, and therefore one has to make good use of space, and quite a lot of it is below sea level, and that's another challenge which the Dutch have taken on and done very well with. There's a cute little gate, if I forgive me for using the word cute. You know, it's just part of the, of the development there. And actually what lies behind it, it's not a secret garden, but a kindergarten. There is um, other features which I'll be showing you in a moment. The waste water is remediated by natural means. So you can see there some basins in which the preliminary stage of the remediation is taking place, the oxygenation is taking place, and in fact, I'll mention this in, in a moment, there is a very fine um, YouTube presentation with a commentary in English on this, which shows how, um, how this is part of the scenery, part of the features which people play around and children play around. 
There's a reed bed which disposes so well of the uh, wastewater, the second and final stage of the wastewater remediation. So the harvesting, um, well, it's obvious, isn't it? The photovoltaic panel there. Rainwater harvesting, if you know any Dutch Reagan water underneath there, the rainwater is collected and used for various purposes for which drinking water standard is not required. A meadow adjacent to the development, beautiful flowers and nice trees and generally, again, the sense of the aesthetic about it. And in just to sum up very briefly and very quickly, the kind of features that I've illustrated there, um, that's just some collection. It may not be very visible from the, uh, or from the uh, seating out there, I don't know. But just to sum up some of the features which are well described in a short um, PDF that you can download in English from the website, we've got energy, sustainable energy systems striving towards zero energy balance, water, integrated water management, sustainable city planning. It's um, only a smallish area. I think I've got a note somewhere of how big it is, but uh, typically it's pretty small. Transport is adjacent to the railway station with both local and intercity services from the local station pretty well just over the road to the big cities, to Utrecht, to Amsterdam and elsewhere to the south. A feature that I haven't been able to capture uh, on the last visit I made was the fact that there's now a city farm adjacent to this and part of the celebration of life that goes on there is um, the enjoyment of growing and sharing and preparing and eating good food. That too is covered better than I can do it in the uh, YouTube video to which I mention on this slide here. What else can we say? It's social. Residents are involved in the building process and the maintenance process. I showed the YouTube um, presentation to a group in Dublin a few weeks ago now and the thing that impressed them most was at one point the dialogue explains how the citizens of this housing development work with the city council, with the city council, as distinct from having the city council work for, uh, work, um, do, do the work, take the initiative. And that was something which in Dublin I think resonated quite well. People were saying to me afterwards, you know, the city council does not work with us. They see themselves as working for us. And that's a feature too which I think is worth reflecting upon. And the other aspect which again I think uh, our friend um, Hugh Ellis has touched upon already this afternoon, the integration of things, the integration of um, different functions, living, working, recreation, education and social. There's a two, three page description with more detail than I have here. Uh, it's available from the internet and no, no doubt in some way we can make this uh, PowerPoint and the other PowerPoints accessible to you. There's also there the final entry, the YouTube with an English commentary, which takes about 12 minutes and is just, I think, really does far more than I can hope to do. At this point, I was more or less told, well, I haven't got much uh, time, so you better wind up. But I think I might have stayed still within my um, 10 minutes. So I'm going to chance something and just show you something else from my personal experiences in the Netherlands. This is a project, uh, oh, I can't find the marker now, somewhere, is it? Oh, I've lost it. Okay, well I'll just tell you where it is. There's Amsterdam again, somewhere to the south-ish. Anyway, it's called Amersfoort. It may not have come up as a marker on the screen, I don't know, it doesn't come. And in Amersfoort, there's this amazing new development called Newland, to the north of the city of Amersfoort, which has lovely buildings itself. And every building you see there has photovoltaics on the roof. Again, I was warned I couldn't do too much in the way of showing the visual impressions that I've collected, but there's just one of them. And one that I like and had added somewhat chancing my arm that I would have the time to do it. Um, was this amazing children's playground. So although the Netherlands is nominally short of land, they make excellent use of it. This provision there for decent playground space 
with this fun sort of dragon effect there where children play. Compare that with the kind of playground that you typically see in this city and in other cities in England and Ireland and um, you know, the bleak and the horrible and it rain falls on them the whole time. It probably does on this as well. But at least there's a sense of life about it. You know, it's life is to be celebrated, the children and their activities are to be celebrated. So, in the time that I have and within the time that I have, I think that's all I can possibly do. Thank you. <laughs>